So it's Saturday the 13th of January 2024. Oh, I even bother saying guess where I am today because it tells you there. So I'm on a solo visit again because June's gone on a bike ride. Kids don't get up on the Saturdays until 2 o'clock in the afternoon. But it's half nine at the moment. I've actually booked my first slot for half past ten. So I'm going to see if I can get in early. Lots of lots of animal keeper talks today. I've got about eight down that I'm going to visit, hopefully. Sun's out. Fine sun. Yorkshire sun. Over there. So I'm sure it's going to be a fun day. Kind of that way it's sun on me. So park entrance is down there. You can see big wheel there. So I'll drive in. To get a picture with his sign, you have to come to exit. So I've had to drive down where that car's going, spin around, park up, so I could get me opening shot. See, things that I do for a vlog. Also, just visited the Yorkshire Y as well. Why? I don't know, just passing, so I did. Well, I go and drive to entrance. front row again just over there fingers crossed we're like near early I'm an hour early it's looking like it's gonna be nice all day I don't think I've ever stayed this long got a little list pre-wrote out of all the talks See, you might think it gets thrown together our vlogs, but I do a lot of planning. Ten forty five Gelden Monkeys. Eleven fifteen Tigers and Leopards. Twelve fifteen Africa. One PM Lemurs, one thirty wallabies. 2 o'clock polar bears, 2.30, 2.30, carnivore feed, I've got to ask, could be anything, I'm hoping for tigers, but probably not, 3 o'clock cheetah, laces undone, 3.30, sea lion talk, so they should all just follow on and they're actually on the route as you walk around so I don't have to be going backwards and forwards to get to them. So each of them will probably come out as a separate video because as you all know I'm uh, not visiting as many places so when I do visit a place I've got to get as many videos out of it to keep the channel going so we haven't got any big spaces without anything. I think this has been, although it's freezing cold, there's no wind and the sun is out so it's can it be freezing cold and warm at the same time? Because I think that's what it is. Right now it's cold because I'm in shade. In one second, I'm into the light. Big wheel, if you want to see me and join up big wheel, go to us uh, Winter Illuminations, which ties me in to, even though it's the 13th of January, it's actually the last night of the winter illumination so they'll all be still out and then probably when it's closed tonight we'll be taking them down or we'll be leaving them up tomorrow but taking them down sometime so this is how we find out whether it's stakes in the corner or not park is open but with my annual pass you have to book a time slot so I booked 10.30 thinking I'm going to have a sleep in so let's see if next time I put the camera on I'm at the other side of it or whether I'm back at this side saying I've got an hour to wait. So we'll let me in 55 minutes early. Kind of off here today, Project Polar Bears. So I think the talk's around that time as well so I'll get talk and feed. So that should be interesting. Just got to remember it's a Polar Bear 1 and not Polar Bear 2. As I said, this is the last day of this today. 
put a link to when we came to it. Although it was a very windy night, day, night, night. So every time you come, you get a, a program. So that's the program. So it's weird, mate. All Christmas things being around, and it's Christmas for like a month ago now. I don't know if you can hear roaring, that's uh, over there, old dinosaurs, Pangea. So that's your, your map of the two sides to the wildlife park. And yeah, we've got the timings of all the events that I'm going to try and do every single one of them if my battery don't run out. I'm also going to try and make this more talking as well as showing animals. I don't know whether that's a good thing. I know a lot of people don't really like me talking, but that's supposedly the idea, isn't it? So, we're starting off with the bush dogs, which the door's open for them coming out, but I don't think we'll see them at this time of the day. But if you don't know what a bush dog is, So this is their enclosure. You can see how cold it is. Part of the lake is uh, frozen up. And I can see one moving around inside its hut. So we'll have a zoom in. Just shaking his head. Is it gonna grace us with a, looks like he's eating. Look at that, on cue. Bush dog. Just putting his head out thinking it's way too cold for me to come out. So we've got paying customers so I'll just show my face. They're quite cool of these. They tend to follow each other around, just keep walking around in circles. But we've seen a bush. I don't want to call it a bush tucker dog. But that's because I watch I'm a celebrity get me out of here. Look at this gingerbread man in the Yorkshire sun. How bizarre. Look at this, we've got another, another world exclusive. We're actually in, that's what this area is called, Atlantic Forest. And if you look down there, there's some of them. I really don't know how to say this. Lowland tapir, taper, tapir. I'd say right in the description how to say it, but that's not really going to help me, is it? So I'll, I'll zoom in because I like, chance I'll tell a walk down there, I might have disappeared. But if you watch the video that we're putting out tonight, at Twycross Zoo, we've just seen theirs out. It must be something about January that they come out, so let's get closer to them. Definitely must be somewhere about January or this time of year. Because I can see main wolf out again and again. That's another one that we are able to see, but we did see it when we came in December. Might be because there's a family of five of them off now, but another great start to the morning. Old paparazzi are out taking shots of them. Start to the morning. See the bush dogs, see the tapir, see the main wolf. Coming back for sea lions because there's a sea lion display or something. So just walking past them. They're over here. I'm going to go down now to. Usually early morning you can get red pandas sometimes if someone is paying to uh, feed them you get a good 
good sighting of them, so we'll go see if they're there. Lion King display looks lovely in the sun. Let's have a nice photo opportunity. I think Cheetah might be out as well because people are going down there and there's a, quite a crowd. But there's a, a treat to talk later this afternoon as well. So. I think that will see Cheetah's front red panda area. So, plan is red pandas, cheetahs, and then that should see us into his first talk, which is the monkeys. Yeah, for animals, St. Otters, Red Pandas, all came out, all three of them. If I remember, find the names, I'll put them down here, I'm sure. There's something to do with Disney princesses. Cheetahs are out. Just over there where them people are. I'm going to go and catch them, although there is a talk later on this afternoon, so... If I can get some footage now, I can put the talk footage of it. Two two images, I'll to have these. Anyway, so I can be running around in this place. Cheetah, cheetah territory. See both cheetahs. Uh, good. Now going to see the uh, Galada. Galada monkeys. too well seeing lots of animals first talk supposed to have been there at 11 10 45 
it's now 10.55 and nobody's turned up. So I guess, I guess that's a no-no. I won't mind that, I've just prepped and got loads of footage to go over it. Uh, next talk is supposed to be the Tigers at quarter past 11. Uh, I wonder if that one's going to go ahead. I don't know whether to go because I know my look. If I walk away, I'll just start it. But if I don't start it, we're in the next few minutes. It'll be too late for the next one. I think I'll give it a good job. My evenings have come back out now, so I might go around and film them. It's 11 o'clock, been here an hour, seen loads of animals. So I can kind of think, I think the only thing I haven't seen in that section is the butter roll. It's a totally wrong, but that one that smells of popcorn. So only downside to that one, I've just been waiting about 40 minutes for monkey talk and nobody turned up. So now, walking across to this side and the first talk over here is at quarter past 11 and 15 minutes which is the tigers and leopards leopard ears rare to see so i think we'll just have footage of an empty cage but we're doing all right i'm exhausted already though starving for food, should have had some breakfast before I can. Jim's with me some sandwiches and a flask of coffee, so I've got to hold off as long as I can, because if I eat that now, I'll be starving in another hour. Right, onwards and upwards. Uh, this is one of the tiger enclosures. Don't see any tigers in there at the minute. These are the latest cups that we are using. Some drinks, ice cream, could be an ice cream day today in the afternoon when it warms up. Unfortunately, we've done away with my favourite doll whip we used to have. Now that's gone. I think if you're lucky to come when they're feeding leopard, that's the only time you'll see it. You can go up there as well to the viewing area. And you can look out that way for the leopard and that way for the giraffe. outside so that means I've got to be in here.
haven't had any luck today with uh, talks. Tiger talk. The leopard talk doesn't seem to be happening either. There's not enough people around and no it's out. It's told me an area where I might catch a sight of a leopard which I'm gonna try and see where where the two enclosures meet. Looking out of the plains of Africa, which we're just going in to Africa. <laughs> And yeah, she's right, I can see it, but you can't, it's just over there, so I'll try and show you. I can see it, I'm not thinking I'm showing on camera, you can see that ball. I'm just waiting now, another 10 minutes, supposed to be Africa talk. Don't know whether it's going to go ahead, seeing as last three haven't gone ahead. So I'll have my sandwiches and then we'll start filming again.
Okay, the coffee, the welcome to the Dirty Foot Day Collective uh, from them. They also have a team there that will come to their mouth, which effectively acts as a toothbrush, uh, which they will use to do lots of breathing. Guys, you can all just take a big step, please, I'm going to leave it on that side, please. Thank you. Yeah, that's it. Yeah,
coming back across now, finish that side. I thought I was going to film more, but I ended up just filming animals. I think my face is dropping that side there. Been out too long. Sun's ready for setting. Over here for it rising, and now they're for it setting. I've seen quite a few animals again, like usual. Tiger were out, and I found a new place where you can see leopards. I've seen two leopards at the back of a tiger cage. Uh, with me new zoom air, 15 zoom instead of 10 zoom. I think I got them a little closer. So I'm going across now to the cheetah area. Supposedly a cheetah talk at three o'clock. Out of the six, seven talks, I think I've only got three of them because some of them just don't happen if there's not enough people there or one of them nobody turned up at the beginning. So even what it looks like now it's getting dusky and uh, the big wheel it's got its lights on but I'll show you but I don't think it'll show up on camera. What is going to throw over to him? So I want to talk at cheetahs. I just got there and we just thrown some food over to feed them. So I did find out that today's been the first day that they have re released them both into enclosures where they can see each other. And they're hoping on Monday we're going to put them both in the same enclosure for the first time to see how they get on because they are supposedly going to be a breeding pair. So I've got some pictures of both, both enclosures. I'll have to come back to see them both together at some stage. So hopefully, fingers crossed, sea lions are at half past three of a talk and then it's home time. I've never stayed this long from open to, to close. Exhausted. But once again, it's been another good animal day. So, we're either going to see a sea lion display, or we, well not a display, I don't know what it is, whether it's a talk or a feed or a show or nothing at all, and we just stand there waiting. But back at the start, where we saw dogs, not dogs, wild dogs, bush, bush dogs. So, going into the entrance, people waiting, so hopefully they will do something. Christmas tree.
Uh, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Point Lobos. This is normally the part of the uh, the day where the sea lions prefer to shout over me, but while they're being quiet, uh, I'll get most of the talking. Uh, so this is our family group of Californian sea lions. Uh, we've got Dad here. This is Dominic. <laughs> So, we're just seeing sea lions, that'll be good. That'll be a separate video as well. Yorkshire sea lion display. Just on his way out now. I think we've just been feeding the bush dogs, so there's, there's one bush dog out and there's a chicken hung up, so let's get filming that quick. So, you can see, wish dog's getting fed. Might have to class that as an 18 certificate. So, we're on his way out now. Look at sun over there. Still sun, a full day of sun, even though clouds are out. It's been a good day. Let's go say bye to Santa Claus, seeing as it's his last day here. Once again, we didn't go around Pangaea, but we've got about five videos of Pangaea at Christmas time, dark time, light time. Here's Santa be his list. Bye bye Santa, he shouldn't be here next time we come. Looks tired. Dinosaur. Sun setting over there. Yorkshire sunset. My longest day ever at Yorkshire Wildlife Park. All oh, Christmas lights start to turn. Oh, look at that. Paul in the sun. See a big wheel. Wow. Let's have that one last look at that sun. Look at that. Have a look at some dinosaurs again. Dinosaur's butt. I'm not sure what one that is. Right, let's walk through through the uh whatever that area is called. What's it called? I don't know. People waiting to come in for the last day of Christmas. Don't feel, don't feel festive anyway, look at that, that's a good show, isn't it? That looks like from what you'd see out at Plains of Africa. I'm going to go in shop because I've got no money to spend. But last day of the light ups for sale. You think we'll be selling them off? So, anybody who knows knows I'm not the most energetic of people. But I'm absolutely exhausted. I don't even know what time it is, but I've been here from open to close. We're now kicking everybody out, ready for the last day of the winter illuminations. Got a nice sunset behind there, but I showed it earlier. Car parks, getting in chockers, people are coming in and people are going out. 
all these coming in. I thought last eight winter illuminations. Car's still here, so at least I can get home. But I think I'm too tired to drive. I might have a sleep before a little afternoon nap. Thanks for watching. See you later.